Hey guys, my name's Jackson Caspers. Uh, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and I am a digital artist. Uh, I do a lot of freelance illustration and concept work. Um, and just recently in the last year, I've started to become a NFT artist and I've actually got my own uh, NFT project as well. Um, to me, art is basically my main source of income. Um, I used to do just graphic design when I was a little bit younger. I did that for a few years and you know, I realized that uh, that just I just had no passion in that field of work so uh, I noticed every time I had spare I would just be drawing in a, in a little notepad and I'd fill it with comic illustrations you know stuff like Spider-Man, Iron Man, uh, Batman just you know lots of superhero stuff lots of anime stuff you know I grew up on like Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon and things like that like uh, most of the uh, 90 kids out there um, so yeah like like art means a lot to me I've been doing it since I was a little kid I'm now 30 years old um, and yeah, you know, it, to me, I can provide for myself and my partner, you know what I mean? So just to, just the fact that I can basically pay bills, uh, <laughs> by, by drawing pictures of superheroes and, um, and things like that is, is amazing. Um, you know, like, I guess it's thanks to the, the internet these days, uh, which is awesome. So if anyone's listening and, and you're wondering if you can start a business with your art on the internet, you definitely can. It's free. And, uh, you know, as long as you're dedicated, you can basically take it as far as you want. Uh, my personal growth over the last, say, five years has been pretty good. You know, I, I started a lot of online courses, a um, little bit of concept art, some digital illustration and things like that. Um, that definitely helped me push it to the next level because before that I was just doing a lot of self-study on YouTube, you know, how to draw faces, anatomy, um, how to draw cool characters, you know, things like that. A lot, a lot of um, beginner artists, you know, they do the same thing. Uh, but as soon as I actually did some actual uh, online courses with, with mentors and things like that, you can really take it to the next step. And I believe uh, that's what I've achieved over the last couple of years. I got my Instagram following to around about 150,000 people at the moment that are, that are following my artwork. Uh, so that alone is phenomenal for me. Uh, I never thought I would reach those those heights. Um, you know, back in the day, I, I had maybe well, uh, 200 followers back when I started, you know, five, six years ago. And I just, I noticed as soon as I started being consistent and I actually started pumping out art pretty much every single day, you know, maybe I've missed a few weekends here and there, but you know, even if it wasn't my best stuff, as long as it was something that I'm posting each day, I, I noticed um, the growth just started increasing and increasing. And the more dedicated you are, the um, the better the growth will be. Um, and that's sort of where I'm at at the moment. Um, so the platforms that I use, is generally Instagram, you know, I've got Facebook as well as a secondary. So all my Instagram posts go to Facebook. Um, but yeah, Instagram will be my main one. I've got a few tutorials and fun videos up on YouTube as well, um, as well as some gaming videos that I do. I like to play a bit of Call of Duty as well, so that's <laughs> that's my spare time fun that I'll, um, that I'll post up every now and then. Uh, but yeah, Instagram's definitely the main one that I'm, that I'm using. Uh, most exciting moment for myself in my art career. Uh, it's, it's a bit tricky because I, I signed a few NDA, so I can't really talk about it, but essentially what I can say is concept art for an upcoming either movie or TV series. Um, so I, even I don't know that part yet, but it's of a massive franchise that I loved watching when I was younger. Um, and yeah, I know if, if that comes to fruition, that's going to be amazing and that, that's a, an amazing achievement that I've got under my belt. Even if it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like I've done all the work already um, over the last uh, two years. So that alone has, has been amazing. Um, something that I could tell you about, I guess, is my NFT project that I've launched. Um, so I've actually made a collection of 10,000 uh, NFTs called the Ghoulies. So it's like these little cool skull characters. So me and my business partner, Rui, have uh, created those and developed the whole thing by ourselves. Did the marketing, uh, we got developers on our team. So, you know, we made a, we made a legit actual business around this thing um, while all the, the NFT boom was around. And, you know, we're still pushing that along and that's actually turning into a, a video game soon. So, 
that's also another um, crazy moment that I never thought I would achieve, but here we are. So <laughs> that definitely made me happy. Now there's a question here that for the interview, it says, what is your worst moment? Um, so I, don't know, I find that hard, a little bit hard to answer in terms of my art career because I generally take whatever happens to me as a positive. So if I apply for something, if I enter a competition or anything like that and I don't win or I don't get the spot or I don't get the job, I just take another opportunity to get better and to keep trying. So in this life, especially with the internet, everyone forgets what they saw or whatever is popular at the time within a week or two, you know what I mean? So that's sort of my mentality when being in this art industry, you know what I mean? Like if, if I miss out on opportunity, uh, there could be another one right around the corner in two weeks time. So I don't, I don't know if I've had any worse moments. Like sure, I've missed out on some things, but I've got just, I've got better things right around the corner from that. Like as soon as, as soon as I miss those. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't really have a worse moment. Ultimately, oops, sorry. ultimately, I would like to achieve some level of greatness within the art industry. Okay, so that doesn't need to be, you know, working on the biggest Marvel movies or Star Wars or, or DC or anything like that. That would be an amazing achievement, but to me, that's that's not the ultimate achievement. I think the ultimate achievement is, you know, it sounds cheesy, but it is happiness. Um, to be able to wake up every day and basically earn a living from doing something that you love. So, you know, for me, that's digital painting. Um, for other people, it could be something else. So, you know, that sort of goes outside the world of art. Um, you know, the my main goal is just to be happy. And it's kind of strange because, like, I, I guess I already have achieved that and I guess I'm still pretty young considering how, um, how long life is. So... I guess that's that's another that's another thing for um, ambitious people, dedicated people. It's like you get to a state where you're happy from doing your passion and working hard and being dedicated. And you get to that point and you wake up every morning with a smile on your face and you get ready. You pick up the pencil and you're like, what what sort of do I achieve next? Um, so yeah, it's uh, definitely the happiness is, is the ultimate achievement and I've got that. So now it's just uh, seeing what more fun fun stuff I can create for people. Uh, I met Tuck Zitro through Instagram. Um, he DM'd me about the interview. Uh, <laughs> I've definitely taken my time to get around to actually recording this voice clip because I was in the middle of creating that NFT project, which was absolutely insane. Uh, <laughs> and it was quite stressful, so I, I didn't have a lot of free time on my hands. Um, and then also, my, I've got my uh, personal uh, freelance work coming through at the same time as well. Uh, but yeah, so here it is, finally done it. Um, in terms of shout outs, uh, just shout out my Instagram page, I guess. It's just Jackson underscore Caspers. Uh, so you can check me out on Instagram. Um, I guess shout out to my parents for being awesome <laughs> and uh, giving me whatever uh, the my artistic skills in my DNA. I appreciate that. And, you know, that for them never telling me to stop drawing, you know what I mean? They were always uh, encouraging me to create art and, and make new things. So that was always good. And that always kept pushing me. And now I do it for a living. So there it is. That's all from me. Thanks, guys. <laughs>